Hey everyone, so uh, I'm back, it's been a while, 7 months, but yeah, finally have my desktop, finally have enough RAM to film videos, and uh, finally I'm stable, so today it's gonna be a bit different, it's not a Python video, it's actually gonna be an Arduino Uno video, transforming an Arduino Uno into a rubber ducky more specifically. And I would just like to give props to this guy, because this is how I learned where to do that. Uh, I'm just taking this tutorial and putting it in video format so it's easier for people to understand since I had some troubles. But I'll put the link in the description also. And uh, yeah, so I'll just show you guys the final product right away. So I'm going to plug in my Arduino Uno. I'm going to touch nothing. And there we go. Starts typing. Right now it's just using a thing I hosted online, where it's going to stir up this terminal, it's going to say Virus Megamind, you're an idiot, this is a virus deleting system files, corrupting windows, sending spam emails. Now obviously this is a troll to troll your friends, but you could actually do interesting things with this. And it just opens like 20 rickrolls. So yeah, oh, I'm, oh shit, Jesus, oh my god, oh my... Oh fuck, oh, oh no, oh, oh Jesus, okay, well hopefully you guys didn't have headphones on, and uh, yeah, so let's uh, get right into the making. Alright guys, so uh, yeah. Hopefully you guys are excited to get started, and uh, yeah, I am. So, uh, first things first is, uh, I'll leave the link in the description, but there will be a zip file you have to download, which will contain an example sketch, uh, the library you need, uh, Arduino hex files for turning it into just a USB and a keyboard, and uh, yeah, the flip installer, since we will need to use that to reformat the Arduino. So. First off, you're going to want to create a ducky script. So if you do not know how to create a ducky script, you can just head over to, for example, ducky script, uh, ducky script and sample payloads. So it's made by Hack5 and uh, yeah, so you can see delay is used to sleep for an amount of milliseconds. GUIR, that means GUI is like Windows key and then R, well, it's R, so it'll open the run. Uh, and then string is just to type out a string. So for example, you would do GUI R, and then you would type out like, hello, you know? Um, so for mine, I just have a delay 3000, wait for the thing to boot up, then GUI R, so it's gonna do this, and then delay 1000. And then it's gonna print out the PowerShell string and press enter. Now this PowerShell string, if I show you it real quick, oh, sorry, wrong key. If I show you it, let's go over here, right box. So basically what it does is it hides the PowerShell, it does non-interactive, uh, and then it initiates a new object uh, for your new web client and it downloads a file, which I'm hosting on Temp Ninja. If you just wanna like do this for a temporary amount of time, um, and then it adds this to temp file and then it runs it with start process since it's a bat file. But yeah, basically this is just a basic bash script. Uh, I'll leave this one in the description so you can test it. Basically it's just the demo I showed you and then it opens a bunch of rickrolls. But yeah, you could put anything you want in here like um, reverse shell, uh, file extraction, getting Chrome passwords, whatever you would like uh, but yeah I'll just be using this one as it's simple enough so after you have your sh your ducky script and you're ready to go uh, first let's set up our Arduino ID so you want to connect your Arduino so Arduino Uno so make sure you select a board uh, Arduino Uno and uh, yeah so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be using the library H HID which was created by Nicohood, uh, which is very nice library, very useful to turn an Arduino into a ducky 
uh, you can download here, but in the zip file I'll link in the description, there will already be the HID keyboard library. Now, we're gonna have to change this a little bit since the library actually has some bugs. So if I delete this, you're gonna wanna unzip this. So open with WinRAR Archiver, extract, and then you're just gonna wanna put it in the same file, so material rubber ducky. Boom, okay. And now you have this, you want to go to Visual Code Studio and you want to open this one, hidkeyboard.h. So after opening this, uh, you can leave all of this as it is, but you can see all the keys possible, so that's pretty good. And what you want to do is you want to go down here, so if I show you guys, okay guys, my bad, that was actually a completely different um, library so this is the actual library and uh, since the guy has not been upkeeping it since 2012 there's a lot of bugs with it I mean not a lot but a couple so people have made an updated edition so we can ignore the rest of this but what's important is update HID keyboard.h so if you see these green lines you're gonna want to just copy these so you see this is line 40 and 50 and then if we go back to our file here, you're just going to want to replace line 40 and 50 with what the guy changed. So I'll, I'll put these in the description too, but I'll also just put the link if that's easier for you guys. And then there is another commit for the HID keyboard file where it just updates line 50. So we can copy that, go back to VS Code and copy that here and we should now be good to go so basically what this does is there was a problem with the package where commas would be replaced with this and that would make making shell scripts very hard and also it converted single quotes to double quotes so yeah it just it wasn't great anyways so after you update this right uh, at this point you can close visual studio code we don't need it you would just need to go here, right? And you would do, uh, give me a second, send to compress a zipped folder, which will make a new zip just like this. And then you can just delete this. And now our next step would be to go to Arduino, go to sketch, include library, add zip library. And then you would just need to find wherever you save that file. So for me, it'll be downloads and material rubber ducky. And then you would click on this and click open. I'm not going to do it because I already have it. Look, if I click open, it already exists. But yeah, it would should work for you guys. And if you already included, included it before removing it, um, you can search it up online. And you basically have to go into Arduino files and delete the library. Anyways, so after that, um, you, so after that, you can even go down here to see some sample code so basically in the setup you need a keyboard begin and then you have multiple functions so delay that's just the basic arduino delay to basically wait for two seconds so 2000 milliseconds and then you have press special key and print in and just print so Every time you press a key, you want to release the key, right? Because you don't want to keep the key to keep pressing because that would just be annoying. So for example, here press special key GUI would just be doing this. So here we're pressing the special key GUI, we're releasing the key, we're waiting 200 milliseconds, and then we're writing run. And after that, we're pressing the special key enter and releasing the key. So it would do this. And then we're typing, which is the payload I showed you earlier. Uh, and we're pressing the special key enter. So it runs it and then we release. So it's very simple, not really hard to code. Uh, and yeah, also for these strings, since you have to do a lot of string manipulation to make sure they're not unescaped, you can just search up um, escape string C online C sharp my bad and yeah so I just used actually I used this one which was better so you would just put your string here so for example my string 
I would just put it here, right? Add the, and then escape. And then this would just make a string that won't have any formatting issues in C sharp. So yeah, just in case you guys didn't know, because sometimes it can be annoying. So next thing is we are going to verify the file. So make sure everything's good to go. Uh, make sure all your coding is right. Make sure you have your libraries. And there we go, done compiling, no errors. And then we can just upload it to our Arduino. Uploading, and then done uploading. And now you might think, well, that's it. We uploaded the code, Arduino's ready to go, but actually not. We have to change our Arduino drivers. So this is where it gets a little bit complicated. But first thing you're gonna have to do is run this JRE flip installer, because this is gonna be able to basically let you use flip 3.4.7 and we need that to change the drivers <clears throat> sorry about that and first of all you're gonna go to device manager so after you've installed it or before it doesn't matter and normally you'll have like an unknown devices tab so for me it's just ports right but normally you'll have unknown devices and uh, basically what you want to do, so for this I'll put a video up somewhere on the screen. Uh, on real life you want to short the two circuits I'm currently showing, which will make a sound on your Windows computer. And then you should see a new, new device connected on your device manager. And you don't want to keep these connected, you just want to short it for like one second so that it resets the Arduino and gives you that and basically it enters DFU mode so normally here you shouldn't see 80 mega 16u unless you already defined the drivers but if you don't then you want to go to update drivers browse my computer and then you want to go to browse so after installing flip and then program files atmel flip 3.4.7 and then you just want to select USB and then you'll do next and yeah it should give you 80 mega 16 u2 so hopefully i was clear on that hopefully the video was clear of which two pins you have to connect together and you can just use two female wires and it should work anyways so after you have that ready then you're ready to upload so you want to select 80 mega 16 u make sure it's 80 mega because the, it would select this one as default so 16 u2 and then you want to do USB and just click open and if it doesn't work then try shorting the device again reconnecting your Arduino but it should be able to detect it as long as you have the driver installed and then just to make sure it works you can just run this with no program and this doesn't matter as long as you see the program is green and so then here you're gonna want to load a hex file so if you just travel to material rubber ducky arduino which is the file where we have everything you want to select arduino keyboard dash 0.3 dot hex that's the one which will turn it into a rubber ducky rubber ducky my bad so after you select that you should see it here and then you can just click run and there we go it should verify program and erase and you should see verify pass down here and now we should be ready to go also, just make sure that your keyboard is in United States English because that is what the script uses as a keyboard. So it might have compatibility errors if you use a French keyboard. But yeah, so let's just connect the Arduino and now it should just start running. There we go. So it runs our payload, presses enter, and then it starts the virus. So let me just terminate this. Okay, so now you might be wondering, okay, but what if I want to change my payload? Well, same thing, you're going to connect your Arduino, you're going to short it with the same method I showed you earlier, then you're going to re-click this, click OK, and then refind USB, open, and then you're going to load hex file, but this time you're going to load USB serial uno. So just to prove it works, let me here, let me open up Arduino. Let me just change my keyboard back. So Arduino, and then you're gonna go to Tools, see, there is nothing. There's just COM1, which is not my Arduino. But then if I select this, I click OK, I run. And then if I unplug 
and replug the Arduino, you will see that now the Arduino Uno can be recoded. So uh, yeah, it's a very simple process. You just short it, press on that little microcontroller, press USB, choose the hex file you want, and boom, it's back to a rubber ducky. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Also, actually, I will show you one more website. This is a website, I'll also leave it in the description. Wait, actually, that is the wrong one. Give me one second, there we go. So I'll leave this in the description too. Basically what this does is you can take a ducky script, so like the one we have here, and it will convert it into an Arduino sort of file. Well, now this is not very adapted to our HID keyboard because we're not using these, but for Arduino Nano or whatever else you want to use, this is an actual good website. But uh, yeah. Uh, I'll also leave this in the description, I mean the script, not the the file because it's only 48 hour hosting. And I'll also leave the GitHub and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, you know, drop a like and uh, let me know what I should make next. See you. Hey guys, so uh, welcome to the second part of this video. I'm gonna be uh, doing uh, unboxing, you know, just forget my hair. It's all crazy right now, but anyways, yeah, we got this big box, um, you can see the logo right here, basically it's, I got a part-time job at Haxiom, which is a B2B company mostly, so you won't find socials or anything, and uh, yeah, they sent me a welcome pack, I know there's a computer in here, but that's all I know, there's some more stuff, and uh, yeah, we're gonna open it up, see what's inside, this is just kind of a different kind of bonus video, I guess, and uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. So let's just start it up. I got a kitchen knife, no threat intended for legal reasons. And uh, yeah, let's open this up. Boom, and boom. But yeah, while I'm opening this up, I can explain, I guess. It's basically, I'm starting a master's in cybersecurity at the school of 2600 near Paris. In September and they require a part-time job so that's why anyways let's get started so this is obviously the plug for the computer um, and we got a little box here let's open it up oh it's a nice little mug so I can drink some coffee and think about the company so that's nice next uh, okay just just some papers Ooh, and there we go, the big beast. Got a computer, Axiom. I think it's a Dell originally. But yeah, looks good. I'll probably be using that to do some hacking. Next, got a t-shirt. Uh, Axiom on the front. Big logo on the back. So uh, yeah, that's nice. Next, we got a hoodie. Always love hoodies, but yeah, nice hoodie, logo on the back, and next, oh okay, I wasn't expecting this, uh, computer casing, so I can put my computer in here with the logo, that's pretty nice, with a strap of course, that's always useful, and a bunch of stickers, that's cool can deck out my computer with that and lastly we got a little solid color vacuum insulated stainless steel bottle sick a hydro flask but yeah that's that's all there is to it hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed this little bonus and uh, yeah like the video subscribe so I can buy a new mic and uh, see you guys